I thought I'd do something a little different this week and it ties in with my obsession with Woolworths. I was sent a BBC article about how Woolworths could return to British high streets. So let's get into it. Once loved for its pick and mix sweets and bargain prices, Woolworths stores could return to the UK. In 2009, when its British shops closed after the financial crisis, the brand in Germany, which is known as Woolworth, was saved by HH Holding. Current HH Holding staff chief Roman Heine says the UK is on his bucket list of destinations he seeks to expand internationally. It comes as Wilco or feel the gap left by Woolworths collapsed in 2023. Mr Heine, who has worked in executive positions at both Aldi and Lidl, has been Woolworths chief executive since 2020. He told Trade magazine Retail Week that despite the challenges of cost of living crisis, he had the opportunity to make Woolworths great again. And I keep saying Woolworths, it is Woolworth. Affectionately known as Woolies, if the brand were returned to UK high streets, it's unclear how it would be spelt. Woolworth of Germany told the BBC, the brand name Woolworth, without the S, is owned by us throughout Europe. Should we ever plan to return to the UK, we could scrutinise the naming rights to minimise the risk of confusion. A transfer of rights could help if necessary. As we know, Woolworths originated in the US and operated for 100 years in the UK having opened its first store in Liverpool in 1909. It had 807 British stores and its closure left more than 27,000 people unemployed. It suffered from the economic downturn in 2008-2009 and from cheaper competitors eating into its market share. Some analysts say it was also not able to keep up with online shopping. Woolworth Germany said it was unable to confirm any plans for Woolworth to return to the UK market but that such a move is not ruled out in principle. Britain is on the bucket list, although nothing is imminent. A spokesperson said, adding, but it may be in the mix for the mid long term future. Its offerings, however, have changed since it was last seen on the high street. Previously, it was known for a variety of items, including children's clothing brand Ladybird, CDs and confectionery. Under Mr. Heine's stewardship, Wolf Germany has pivoted to clothing and homeware which he says is at unbeatable prices. He told Retail Week that 6,000 of the 10,000 products that Woolworth sells are priced at €3, Euros, £2.57 or below. To match that online, at least until today, is very difficult, if not impossible, he says. But a re-entry would not be without its challenges. Distribution is supply chains because of the attacks of the Houthi rebels in one of the world's biggest trading routes in the Red Sea, plus post-pandemic turmoil with the two issues Mr Heine cited as standing in the way of an immediate British revival of the brand. However, as the collapse of Wilco left some people feeling nostalgic for Woolworths, the firm feel it would be welcome in the UK. I do not know of any brands where the recognition will be as high as it is in Britain, without having any stores. Woolworth has more than 600 shops, with the majority in Germany, but some in Austria and Poland.